Let me show you how to be a PNG tuber just like this, so you can stream on Twitch, YouTube, or any other platform you'd like using only your mobile device. The first thing we're gonna do is go to our app store. I'm gonna be using the iOS version of this, but it'll also work for Android, just might look a little different throughout the steps. We're gonna go and look for an app called Prism because we're gonna be checking out their new PNG tuber update. So shout out to Prism for sponsoring today's video. Once we've downloaded the app, we can open up the app and it's gonna greet us with a couple of different login methods. The first login method I'm gonna choose is obviously going to be our Twitch. So we're just going to connect our Twitch account to our Prism app. So that way we can stream directly to Twitch using our Prism app. It's going to ask for permissions like your camera and your microphone because it's going to need that in order to stream. Though you don't have to use your camera if you don't want to, but just give it all the permissions that it needs. So that way we can be brought to the home page. If you don't see this pop up, that's totally fine, but we're going to hit start. You can see at the very bottom of the screen, you have an option between camera, screen, and VTuber. Camera is if you want to do an IRL stream. Screen is if you want to broadcast your mobile game and VTuber is just going to be if you want to VTube or in this case PNG tube and honestly I didn't even know there was a difference until recently once you're on the VTuber setting you can go to the actual little settings bar by hitting that little cog and then you'll be able to see a bunch of different options so at the very top we're on the preview section and if you see that little drag bar to the left that's your microphone input so you want to set that just high enough to it only triggers when you're talking because when it triggers that's when your pictures are going to change aka your PNGs are going to change so that that way it looks like your character is talking when you're talking. So if we scroll through, you can see that they have a bunch of different pre-made PNG tuber avatars that you can choose from. And you even have the option of making your own, but you're gonna need all the pictures. So if you wanna hire someone to do it, or you have some template that you found online, you can feel free to upload it over there. But luckily they gave us a handful of options to choose from. So lazy people such as myself don't gotta worry about it. So we're gonna keep it simple and we're just gonna pick one of the avatars by clicking download. And now we have our very own PNG tuber avatar. Now your dream of being an anime waifu character are coming true, baby. I mean, look at that ice cream shirt. Now you can see in a little bit more detail what's going on here, but basically at the very bottom, you have all these different emotions. So they've already done all the heavy lifting. So if you pick one of these templates, it's gonna have everything done for you, but you can scroll through the different emotions and you can see that when you pick a different emotion while you're streaming or using it, that it's actually going to change the different emotions of that character. So you can switch it on the fly. Now, if you hit the motion tab at the bottom, you can actually add motion to your character if you'd like so that way if you're on a certain emotion then you can have it moving up and down or in this case what I think is probably going to be the most beneficial is if we're on the angry emotion we can have it set to shake around really fast to try and emulate that emotion more like this so that way when you're talking and you're on the angry setting then it's going to shake your character like they're visibly angry but you can feel free to mess around with all the different emotions and if you want to add more motion to that emotion then you can feel free to do so but we're done with that so we're gonna hit done in the top right Right corner. So just over again, we have the camera setting, which is going to be using your camera, the screencast if you want to screencast your games, and then the VTuber setting, which is all separate right now. So unfortunately, you can't do both the game and your VTuber, but they're going to be working on updates in the future so that you'll be able to do so. And then if you take a look under the settings on the right hand side, you can click that button. And now you can freely switch between the different emotions and then even a background, which I think is one of the cooler parts. So in order to use the background, you got to give it permissions, which is fine. But after that, you'll be able to switch between a bunch of different pre-made backgrounds. My two favorites being this little room and then there's like a beach next to it, which I think is kind of cool. So you can pick a background that best suits you. Or if you want, you could replace the background with your camera. So if you're doing like an IRL stream walking around the city, but you don't want to show your face, then you can have that as your background instead. But once you pick your background, you can simply press on the PNG tuber. You can drag it around to where your little heart desires. And then at the very top, you can see a couple buttons. We have this little refresh looking sign that you can click on and that'll be changing your camera to the front or rear if you wanted to use that background feature. And then next to that, you have an option to turn your microphone on and off in case you wanted to mute yourself. You could also save your video after streaming, but you can also do that later too. Now, if we swipe to the left, that'll bring us to this page, which brings us a couple more options. I feel like the most important options for this is having text. So if you wanted to have like a title or something on the screen, then you can choose any of these different titles. They have a bunch of different things that you can choose from, like having your socials pop up, captions, stickers, and a bunch of other things. But I think more more importantly, if you click on the widget and you do Prism Chat widget, then you can actually have your Twitch chat show up over your PNG tuber, which is cool. So that way it acts as like a nice little IRL just chatting sort of deal. So you can go and resize your text box and just replace the screen to how you want to display it. So you can switch between the backgrounds once again, and you can see that I've decided to experiment with having my phone as the background, so that's up to you. But honestly, I think this is a really great way for you to have Q&A sessions with your audience if you don't feel comfortable showing your face. So now let me show you how to 
dream with this. But first, if you want more helpful videos like this, make sure to drop a like on the video so YouTube recommends more of me to you. But once you're ready to start streaming, all you're gonna have to do is click ready, and then you're gonna set your destination. So if you wanna stream to Twitch, you'll connect your Twitch account like I'm doing here. You can also stream to Facebook, YouTube, or any of the other streaming platforms. So you can stream to pretty much wherever you want. But I'm deciding to stream to Twitch, so I'm gonna connect my Twitch, which I just did. Then you can put a title and you can put a category. So I'm just gonna put VTubing Q&A, even though it's technically PNG tubing. And then I'm gonna change my category to just chatting. And when we hit go live, it's saying that it's starting in portrait mode, AKA up and down. So that means that you might not wanna do this if you're streaming to Twitch. And I'll show you what I mean, because now you can see on the Twitch stream, it's not filling up the whole screen because it's in portrait mode and not landscape. If you want, and you're streaming on like TikTok or you're streaming on some other vertical platform, then you could utilize the portrait mode. But what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna end the stream and then I'm gonna rotate my phone. I'm gonna turn the auto rotate back on, but then you wanna make sure to lock it because you don't wanna change your resolution midstream, otherwise it'll mess things up. But right now I'm gonna have it changed to horizontal into landscape mode. And as you can see now, it'll fill up the entire Twitch stream. So that way you don't have any loose ends and it looks really weird for the video resolution. And then at the end of the stream, you can watch your stream back through the app. You can also choose to download it and save it if you wanna upload it to YouTube, cut it down for YouTube Shorts, TikToks to grow your audience. You guys already know the deal from all the other videos I've made. So watch these other videos to the side of me. They're gonna help you so much with your streaming journey. My name's Cody and I'll see you in the next one.